Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is JC, if you're new here. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve and I figured why not bring you guys with me throughout my New Year's Eve prep. I want to show off my new skims. They are so cute and let me just say they make the booty look great. <laughs> I'm obsessed with like really bouncy and just like airy pajamas because you don't get super hot you're just very cozy and warm i love them so much and there's just something about a matching set when you're going to bed you wake up feeling like you have your shit together like i don't know what it is but i love them and i'm so obsessed i need to get this set in like every single color i'll link it down below we are going to dive in to a little face mask this one is by glam go this is the get unready with me three minute oxygen facial and makeup remover mask trio makeup remover well i don't have any makeup on but we're gonna dive into a little mask so let's try this i love sheet mask because they're just so fun and i've never tried a sheet mask from glam glow hopefully it's good oh it's a bubble sheet oh my god it's gonna bubble up cody cody do you want to put one on what a sheet mask no i'm okay you're so boring it's new year's eve no, it's not. It's slimy. It's going to bubble on your face. Oh, it's like dripping. Well, be careful. <laughs> Which way did it go on? I don't know if it matters. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh. oh my God. This is a hot mess. This is slimy. It's so slimy. I feel so uncomfortable. You can't tell me this isn't perfection. <sighs> hmm, it smells like green tea. It smells like slime. Oh my God, Cody. Dude. You're being dramatic. It's foaming real good. Yeah, it's foaming a lot. Leave on for approximately three minutes. What? What? That's it? Hmm. Okay. This feels great, and I love it, and I am thriving. <laughs> How does it feel, though? Good? Good. It's starting to burn a little bit, but... You're... If... Maybe you should go take it off. If it ain't burning, it ain't working. <laughs> <laughs> is that what they say? No. <laughs> that's not always the case, though. Thought that's what they say. No, this is what you said. Oh my god, it's I feel like we look at the we like look the like the Grinch. Not, the mouth hole's not big enough. Like, oh my god, <laughs> look how like <laughs> Okay, let's go rinse these off. These Should are we go raw. rinse it no, off. No, no, that's been three minutes. I don't think so. Let's just wait. We have a minute and forty nine seconds. It's just so much in my mouth. Like, look at the crack of my. <laughs> it's all in there. But... <laughs> so fucking funny. Like. You got it on your hand. You are a slob. <sighs> mm. I hear you over here saying, oh, you're so interested. Told you, face masks are cool. Oh, wow, look the at cool that. The cool kids do it. Look oh, nice. Now. That is nice. Does it feel good? Yeah, it looks really nice. What? I got so much on my nose. Ooh, wow, that was so satisfying. Oh, it gets thick. Yeah, so I'm saying for the face wash. Oh wow. Yeah, this is probably perfect for taking off your makeup. This feels really freaking nice. Oh my god. We are moving on to something super exciting. We're gonna try some press on nails. I can't remember the last time I did press on nails since I was like very little and just like, you know, slapped them on by myself, but I got some nail accessories that I think will help me make my manicure look a little bit more professional. I don't really know. I'm not the best when it comes to nails, but my new year's resolution is to try to at least have a good nail care routine and just like try keeping up with at least my cuticles because they are disgusting. We are going to be using the static nail reusable pop on manicures just i don't know i wanted red nails and these were the only ones that like caught my eye so we're gonna try these ones out and then i got cuticle pushers cuticle sticks a cuticle nipper a cuticle vitamin e oil and then an instant cuticle remover i'm gonna lay out like a little towel and try doing them um this is not a tutorial so don't take anything that I'm saying seriously because I have no clue, no idea what I'm doing. But we're going to just wing it um, and, just, and see what happens, okay? These are the before. They look like absolute ass. And to be honest, I did not feel like waiting 
at a nail salon to get my nails done. So we're going the cheaper route and we're gonna do press-ons, period. Push back cuticles. I don't even know how to push back my cuticles if I'm being honest. Wow, that did wonders. Wait a minute, wait a damn minute. Every time I go to the nail salon, they never do a good job with my cuticles, so I feel like this might be the best manicure I have ever had in my entire life. This is insane. Go and get this if you have bad cuticles because it literally just did wonders. This works really well. I'm so shocked. Like, that's really, really nice. Now I'm just gonna take my cuticle nipper. I feel like over time, I'll definitely get better. Oh, I made myself bleed. up and make sure I have nails to fit every single one. So I'm having a big problem. I literally cannot find nails to fit my nail beds. I have apparently huge nails and I got one side, all five nails that fit. But the problem was I was using from both of the sets that, that I was given and now I can't find the matching nails for this side and I'm having like a really stressed out time. Like this one is on, but you can still basically see like the sides of my nails. It's not gonna focus and I'm not even gonna try to because I'm so frustrated right now. But it's just, that's so crazy. I didn't know I had fat fingers, but I kind of did. I think it's no-go on the nails because I'm just, they're not gonna fit and they're gonna look really ratchet if I glue them on looking like that. Oh. <laughs> I'm so upset. Well, at least I was able to do my cuticles, I guess. I don't know. I tried. Christmas balls? <laughs> not my what Christ the hell? Not my Christmas <laughs> balls. Yeah, I could have fought you last night. You slept on top of the blanket. I was like, what the Because I like to be sandwiched doing? in between them. Yeah, but when I needed more blanket, I had to pull it from underneath you. <laughs> this is already... Happy New Year's Eve. I honestly woke up in like panic mode because my room has just been so filthy. When my surrounding is messy, I feel like a complete disaster. I was going as fast as I can to clean my room and to just tidy up a little bit so when I get ready, I'm not like overwhelmed because if I get ready and there's a mess, I feel like I'm just gonna turn out a mess and ugh. Whew, okay. I just need to like calm down because I was on like X Games mode trying to tidy up my room and get everything like in its spot. I do also have a little bit of a problem. Not really, but a little bit. So I did order like a full blown New Year's Eve outfit. It's supposed to be delivered today, like around 10.45, three o'clock. So I still have high hopes. It may or may not be here, I don't know, but I do have a backup outfit. I went yesterday shopping because I was like, what am I gonna do if it doesn't get delivered? So yesterday I went to Windsor. I'll show you guys what I picked up. I have it hung up right now. I don't know if you can really see it. Super cute, it's like a cowl neck. It's, look how sparkly that is, I love it. The original dress I ordered off of Pretty Little Thing. It looks pretty much just like this, so I don't really care about the dress situation. I also got some, Birdie, you're always up in my space, girl. I did um, pick up some jewelry from Windsor. Usually I do gold, but I don't know. I saw these earrings at Windsor and I was like, you know what? Maybe I should do a silver theme. I also got some nipple covers. And here is where I get a little bit disappointed, okay? Of the original shoes that I ordered, they are fire. New Year's Eve, 
perfection. And obviously I wasn't gonna find the same exact shoe for like a backup. I went to Nordstrom's because they were the only thing opened after I got off of work yesterday. And these are what I picked up. I mean, honestly, they're not bad at all, but they are suede and I really wanted to go for like a leather boot. They're not bad, but they're just not exactly what I wanted. You know what? It is what it is. I still have high hopes. I'm still hoping my outfit will be here because I ordered this beautiful blazer and I really, really freaking want it. So. I don't know, time will tell, um, but it's time to get in the shower and detox my whole entire body. I feel like I just have some negativity on me right now and I need to wash it the f off. I am excited because I picked up a few new products to try in the shower. It is time to get a New Year's Eve little glove. First things first, I picked up some new razors because I'm not even gonna lie. I can't tell you the last time I bought new razors. My mom does like the Billy razors and gets like a new little shipment every month. Um, but I don't know. I wanted to try these out. They're for pubic hair and skin. So if you know, you know. And then this little guy. I've been seeing so many people talk about this sugar scrub on TikTok and I don't know. New year, new skin. Mm. So I picked this one up. It <laughs> Tree Hut Vitamin C Sugar Scrub. I'm really excited. Look how much comes in here. This is gonna last me a long freaking time. And then I also picked up this moisturizing shave oil. I never really honestly use like a shaving cream or anything like that. But when I saw this, I felt like it's gonna be really moisturizing because it's an oil. Who knows? And it's just gonna be one of those showers where you just feel like a brand new bitch. I'm so excited. Also, I am so honestly blessed and lucky and so thankful that my sister is a hairstylist. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just going to go into her salon so she can like fix my roots and add a fresh color on this hair because long story short, my hair is this color pretty much. It's super dark, but I sometimes get like this red tint, which I hate. So she's gonna throw some fresh color on my hair and I'm so excited. I told her that she doesn't have to like give me a blowout or anything like that because I'll just do that myself. I really just need a fresh color. After the shower, I'm gonna head over to my sister's, get my hair right. I'm in such a good mood. Today's gonna be such a good day. Whew, okay, I gotta calm the f down. Calm the f down. Am I the only one that gets like super stressed and overwhelmed when you have something to like get ready for? No, it's only New Year's Eve, but this is the first year that I'm actually going out. <laughs> like I'm going out. I'm not just staying in, which by the way, I love staying in. I would 100% stay in, but this year is the first year that I'm 21 and you already know. I'm going out, I'm gonna get drunk, I'm gonna drink, and I'm gonna have a good time. But nonetheless, if you choose to stay in or you just don't have plans to go out, that's totally okay, okay? You're speaking to the grandma. Whatever you choose to do this New Year's Eve, I just hope you have a great time, and I love you all so much, and thank you guys so much for watching, and this year is gonna be our year, okay? <gasps> Whew, period. That was easily the best shower of my life. The products that I just used changed my life. I feel so buttery smooth right now, Probably because I haven't shaved in a while, but I love how I feel right now and I haven't even put on moisturizer. And then the razor that I used, girl, 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 girl. This literally took off all my hair in one little stroke. One little motherf stroke. A little bit TMI, it cleaned up very well down there, okay? It was very easy. <clears throat> that was the shower that I needed. That was the shower I Dessert. I'm not gonna lie. I also wanted to like record an aesthetically pleasing shower little moment But it is so hard capturing yourself in the shower without making it look like a porno. So I didn't do that after that amazing shower it is time to Moisturize and I want my moisture to be locked and loaded. I don't want to be flaky I want to feel silky smooth so what I really love doing in the winter, honestly, not even just for special occasions, this is the Sephora um, body oil, mixing it with a little body butter. This one is also from Tree Hut. This is the Coco Culada She Body Butter. I'm literally almost out of this though. Like I don't have much, but we're gonna make it work. So I literally just go in with the oil first, load that all over my legs 
Oh yeah. I'm gonna take some of this. You honestly don't need a lot because a little bit goes a long way. And when you mix a body butter with an oil, it kind of gets like a little bit thinner. So it's easier to spread around your body. Like sometimes body butters, they just don't wanna move. But applying a little bit of oil, oh my God, it's a game changer. Only me would be running late to go to my sister's hair salon because I was taking my sweet old time in the freaking shower and I didn't have time, so now I'm rushing to go to my sister's salon. I have to be there at one o'clock, it's 12.53, fuck. My hair is done, that's blah, 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 who cares. My sister just put it up in a little, little bun so I can do it and we did a little bit darker but I don't care because my New Year's Eve outfit is here. I got the email saying that it was delivered while I was at my sister's salon. This is the fit for tonight. Starting off, ooh. This is just like a little leather blazer. It's, it is really thin. I thought it was gonna be a little bit thicker, but it is perfect. It's oversized. <laughs> I'm excited. I don't know how to get these wrinkles out though, so we're gonna have to figure that one out. We have the dress. Why do they package things like this? I don't like that. I'm gonna actually try on both of the dresses and we'll see which one looks better. This is beautiful. This is gorgeous. Now for the shoes. I honestly really love Pretty Little Things shoes. I ordered a pair of boots from them before and they were really nice and I really loved them and then my dog ate them, but. See, they're leather. I really wanted leather boots to go with the leather jacket and they tie in the back. These are so cute. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to be really drunk to walk in these, but nonetheless, they're gonna complete the fit and that's all that matters. So I'm definitely wearing the blazer, 100%. Blazer smells like ass, I'm not even gonna lie. It smells so bad, but whatever. They look pretty much identical, not really though, but similar. So let's try these on and let's see which one I'm gonna wear. First impressions, it fits, oh, I kinda like that one shoulder moment. But it fits really well, it's just not as sparkly as I want it to be. It fits really nicely and I didn't even know it had like this cute little slit, which I love. I don't know, it fits. I definitely wouldn't be mad if I had to wear this, you know what I mean? But I'm glad that I have an option. So let's try it with the blazer and see what it would look like. I really wanted a leather blazer, but I wasn't splurging. We are balling on a budget, okay? It does feel like very cheaply made, but I don't care as long as it looks good in a picture. This is so cute though. Bitch, bitch, come on. This is what I wanted as like a cowl neck. You know how it like hangs over. The only thing that I immediately thought of when I put this on, I was like, my boobs gonna come out. Like I don't have much, but are they gonna come out? This one feels really comfy and like stretchy. So I feel like it will be more comfortable. That one fit me like perfectly so it was like a little bit tight this is the sparkle that i wanted pop the collar just kidding i look like i'm in the matrix and i'm not mad about it this is cute i'm so excited to like do my makeup and ah, ah, ah. i've never been with a baddie mm, she comes so added to tally walking into the new year looking like a bad mother damn bitch i still don't know which one i'm gonna go with i'm feeling myself 100 in this one but we will decide once I'm ready. I am wearing a shirt, I'm not naked, but meaning that it's New Year's Eve, I wanna look and feel my best. I decided that I want to do a follow along gua sha tutorial before I completely start getting ready. I don't really know how to use it, I've just been like using it on my jawline. And I'm just in the mood to follow along to a tutorial. So we are gonna do that together. I'm gonna grab my gua sha out of my beautiful skincare fridge, it is Super cooling. This thing never wants to stay in there. Oh my god, it's so cooling. 
I'm going to use my Ultra Repair Oat and Hemp Seed Oil from First Aid Beauty. So I have like a slippery base to work with. Um, I'm just going to go on YouTube, type in Gua Sha Tutorial, and we are going to give ourselves a nice little massage. <laughs> relaxed i will leave the video that i followed down below wow maybe i shouldn't have done that because now i can go to bed do you see a difference do we see a difference i feel a difference i feel a difference <laughs> i'm so glad i finally got one and i feel so so ready to dive into the get ready with me so if you guys are interested in how i transform just subscribe make sure you give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video where i'm going to record me completely getting ready showing you guys the final look the final outfit and yeah i just i don't want to make this video too long so we're going to do a separate one with the full get ready with me from hair makeup outfits accessories i'm excited so make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in my next video i love you Mwah.